It was his behaviour around me when I was having a hypoglycemic attack. Um, the way he would um, lick my face or cry gently while I'm sitting down, right with me crying, or bark even. Um, and then we noticed that these, this behaviour was happening when I was having the hypoglycemic attack, so we just put two and two together. Well, my son wanted a dog, um, a younger son, so we went round all the different shelters, all the different um, animal shelters in the area, and I said we were just going to look, we weren't actually going to pick a dog up, but sure enough, there was this dog in this shelter near Bishop Auckland, and to cut the story short, that day we ended up bringing Ticker home, and he here he is now with us, and he's slowly become inseparable, and he's not even a pet anymore, he's actually, he's part of the family. Tinker just automatically picked up that when I was in a certain way, I had showed certain behaviours. He seems to pick something up from my breath sometimes when I'm starting to go into a hypoglycemic state, and he warns me. The, the, the phrase man's best friend comes comes into mind because this is he's pretty much my best friend. He's not like a dog, he's just so special, he is just so different. I, at first, he, he became very, very attached to all of us, and we assumed it was because he was grateful for being rescued. But it has gone on to almost like it's, it's a love affair. I can take Tinker with me and know that I am safe because he is going to warn me before I become ill. My sons are confident that they're not going to be called by somebody on the telephone saying, come, come, help your dad's ill. They know I'm going to be safe. I'm safe. And it has been a life-changing experience.